those unsolved murders. Now, when we first reported on this case a couple of years ago, police were asking for the public's help to identify dozens, maybe more than 100 women whose photographs were found during a search of Valtz's home. Now, since that time, many of those women have been found. They're alive and well, but not all of them. Police say there is still a lingering mystery here and there could be more victims. Reporting live, I'm their investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you. Eric, thank you. Developing now, the sheriff's deputy up the center of the Vanessa Bryant lawsuit against L.A. County took the stand today. The deputy was among the initial first responders to the crash scene that killed Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and seven others. He took 25 photos with his personal phone. During testimony, he said he was told to do so by at least one person at the command post. He said it was common practice at crime scenes and disasters, but Bryant's attorneys pointed out the pictures went further and went out to other deputies and firefighters and were then shared with a bartender in Norwalk as well as at an award show. Vanessa Bryant is seeking damages for emotional distress. The county argues there was no distress caused because the photos never went beyond the deputy and investigation. New at five, a veteran who says she was wrongfully kicked out of a tiny home on the VA campus in West Los Angeles is now back. Her story caught the attention of many on social media. NBC4's John Caddis-Klimak has that story.